Yeah, I mean, it, it is quite, um, it's quite intense to travel with, uh, with your band and, you know, you're like, you're five people. That's not much. We're like a small group of people, but um, it's quite intense to, to be that close, like for a month or something like that. You drive every day in this small car. And, but uh, luckily we, we are very good friends and we, we go way back. That makes it, makes it, uh, I don't know, a bit easier to go on these long travels because you you travel with your your best friends. I think the first band I played in was like a garage band in my little village where we were would rehearse and, and that was with Huckner. So we've known each other forever, actually. Later on, when I was um, 15 or something, I met Mikael and we started a jazz band together. We've been making music together for, for ages. Our sound engineer, Hattler from, from Iceland, he's a very important uh, member of our band. What I like about him is that he's a, he's a musician who's also a sound engineer and he thinks about uh, sound in a different way than, than some other do, I think. So it's very special to me to, uh, to gather with these uh, old friends again and, and being in a new place and, uh, and uh, experimenting with, with new sounds, new music with them is, is quite special. You know what, we're at the Islington now. In London and this was actually the first show that came on the calendar and uh, I want to show you the the room because it's so cool. it, it doesn't get more Twin Peaks than this here we are check out this beautiful red cool stage it's so it's so Twin Peaks. I can't wait to play here. It's a bit crazy because the venue is set up, it's a very small room and the mixing desk is behind the speakers. So it's, it's hard for him to hear what's actually coming out of the speakers. It's probably one of the hardest sound checks we've ever had. It was like one of these sound checks where kept feeding and yeah. <laughs> but hopefully we got rid of all the little ghosts in the PA and they won't be there for the show tonight. Is the fan on while we are playing? So it's it's here by my ear. By your ear. Fan, sup. <laughs> Sound somewhere there. Sound on the side. <laughs> and, you <should laughs> just, and you should just be blindfolded. Also. Yes, I have a blindfold in my backpack. Yeah, you should put it on. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> I, will, I will wear this tonight. <laughs> I was prepared, you know, for anything when I was going to play my first uh, shows here because I've always heard that the UK is the most difficult market for an artist to enter. I don't know why. That's what you hear in Scandinavia. <laughs> anyway, I was prepared, you know, to play for uh, five people or something. <laughs> so I was... Um, it was a very good surprise for me to have, uh, to have, uh, you know, full venues and, uh, yeah, to have an audience in front of me. All those places, you know, it felt special to me to be here, especially because it was my first tour here. But I think uh, the night that really stands out in my head was was a concert at at St Pancras Old Church, because. Uh, the room is so special and it's like this 
this old church and uh, and for that show I had brought uh, my light guy with me also from from the Faroe Islands and he had all these lasers going on and you know that combined with with the church and the vibe there was very special to me and uh, we recorded that concert as well and yeah it's a, it's a beautiful room to play When I think about the tour that we did in, in the UK, I feel lucky and, and happy to, to have met like an audience over here. And to, to know that I have a, a following here is, is something that really makes me want to do more shows here. <laughs> Playing live is, has always meant a lot to me ever since I started, when I was 16 years old. Just this thing of sharing music with people, it, it's something special. And I figured out that the reason why it's so special, you know, the music industry, it will always keep changing. You go from like vinyl to CD to MP3 to Spotify and then back to vinyl and it will never, you know, it will always change. But live music will always be the same and it's like this, the purest way of bringing music to people and it's the closest you can get to each other, like just to stand there on stage in front of your audience. It's simple and it works and you know, that's why live performance is, is my favorite thing. <laughs>